Let's now create the two arcs here. Go to head up and select the drop down of arc and select three point arc. First click here, second click, and third click. I'm going to hit escape. Moving again to arc, and this time let's select center point arc. Now, this is to demonstrate the difference between the two. First point here, second point, and third point here. I'm going to hit escape. Now, let's add dimensions, going up and selecting dimension. Left click this arc and drop our dimension here. So the value should be 30, hitting enter. Moving up and selecting equal constraint, left click, selecting the parent, and this one will follow. So now they are equal in radial dimension. I'm going to hit escape, move up again, going to create and selecting line. First point at the edge of our arc. So notice we are given an inferred tangent constraint at the circumference. So when you see the tangent symbol, left click. So here is the tangent constraint applied. Next, first click and second click. So don't worry if you don't have the tangent, we will apply it later. First point, second point, first point, and second point. I'm going to hit escape to disable the command. In addition, if I hit F8, it displays our current constraints. Now if I hit F9, it hides it. So F8, turning on the visibility, F9, turning it off. F8 once more. Going up to constraint, selecting this line and our circle. This line and our circle. This line and our circle. Next, let's add the tangents between this arc and this line. Left click and left click. This arc and this line. This line and this arc. This arc and this line. Now I'm going to hit escape and inspect. So notice the arc and our line is in green color, meaning they are not yet fully constrained. Now the reason is this arc should be concentric with our circle. Now moving up and grabbing concentric. Selecting our arc and our circle. So now they are fully constrained. Hitting escape to disable the command. I can now finish sketch. And go to home view.